Today's topic of discussion, alcohol and liquor licenses. I have to get this on camera. So you thought you needed a liquor license to buy alcohol? Yeah, because like, why would you need one to, why wouldn't, if you need, if you're selling, if you need one to sell it, why wouldn't you need one to buy it? Because basically you're just making it so you can just like buy a bunch of alcohol and just like die. So actually that makes so much sense. <laughs> and actually it's not a bad idea what you just said, which is crazy. Um, But the rule is you need a license to sell alcohol, but you only need to be 21 to buy alcohol. Damn, but I feel like that's bad. He's like, what if those twenty-one year olds would be like, oh yeah, look at my, look at this like milk, and they're on the street just drinking so much. And they, like, Did you say milk? Killed. Yeah, because that's what they label it when they put in like the plastic bag. Because you have to have it concealed by law. Do Do you children label your alcohol as milk now? That's well, I learned something today. So first of all, you have a valid point. Second of all, I think that's a huge concern. Did you? <laughs> I can see the camera. The, the, I think another concern that I have is, like, people, for example, like, mixing marijuana and alcohol and not knowing that marijuana is, like, an anti-nausea. Yeah. And so you drink too much and then you can't throw up because you also were smoking and then you die from alcohol poisoning. But they tried to ban alcohol. And it only lasted, what, four or five years. It was a constitutional amendment that was then undone, right? But no, you actually don't need a license to buy it. But should there be a license to buy it? Okay, argumentatively, I, think, I would say kind of, because if you really think about it, if someone has a license, the deaths would be reduced, because, like, some people are just depressed by a lot of alcohol. That's true. And when you buy a lot of alcohol, when you're depressed, you're just going to drink all of it, you either die from alcohol or poisoning, or just, like, walk onto the street. Okay. But if you have a, someone being the bartender to regulate how much you drink, oh. then I feel like that would, ha- that would happen Which less. is how this conversation started, because he yeah. thought you can only drink at bars. And I'm like, no, you can just get alcohol and go places, which, I, real talk, I probably should not be teaching you a learning specialist. <laughs> okay, I see your point. Do you think it would reduce alcohol deaths? Uh, so it would reduce some of them, like being like, so people who are, okay, so uh, this kind of is going to get kind of dark, but people who are depressed usually don't actually go through the most effort to buy alcohol. So, like they wouldn't go around trying to sneak it. Want to know something? You're going to be shocked by this. I know you just said this was going to get dark and it's true. Do you want to know like the number one preventative for people that are depressed that stops them from killing themselves lack of effort like they won't put in the effort to kill themselves same thing with alcohol as if you put a barrier into play it'll stop them from hurting themselves and they will be too lazy too because they're exactly. so depressed you have a point this has been an interesting conversation we get into the weird what are we supposed to be working on <laughs>